Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We are building one of the Lego Movie 2 sets today. This is Sweet Mayhem's sister starship. It has got... Well, it's got Lego in it, that's what I was about to say. Because it's a Lego building set. But it's also got... Well, it's got three... Well, two minifigures and one mini doll and a starship to actually build. And it looks really, really cool. And this is a roll of stickers. It's random. <laughs> Let's check it out. Okay, so two minifigures. I'm loving these Lego Movie 2 sets because they combine minifigures and mini dolls. They all get to live together in harmony, except when Sweet Mayhem is busy kidnapping. Let's go this way, this way. Kidnapping are uh, the, the minifigures. Let's put this face on Lucy because she's going to be pretty cranky for pretty much the whole of this build because I think the point of this is that she gets kidnapped by Sweet Mayhem and then she gets taken away. And this is Emmett's pants and this is Emmett's shirt. And where is Emmett's head? Here's Emmett's head. This one's really smiley. This one's quite aghast. So let's put this one on too because he's going to be horrified by what is going on. The starship has come to take Lucy away. And, and here is our third character in here. This is, well, we've already seen Sweet Mayhem in a couple of the sets and she gets the same outfit in all of them. So let's put her together. I just love this. I love her space suit. It's all just so cool to have this in mini doll form. Here are her little wing things. Here is a different face to the ones that I've got so far. She actually looks quite... It's like a little wry expression. The hair piece is epic. It's shiny and it's, I think I may have even mentioned before, it's kind of kawaii. It's really, really quite Japanese in style. <laughs> and she has got her big wingy things on the back that add to her outfit. And that's just all, <laughs> it's all so creative and awesome. I still haven't actually seen the movie because it hasn't been released here in Australia which is just disappointing. Here's her helmet but eventually I'll get to see it eventually. So we've got uh yeah we got Sweet Mayhem, we got her hair, we got a helmet, we got two minifigures so let's start building this spaceship, the sister spaceship and to start with we have what's normally the turrets on the castle builds so this is such a cool use of this piece so let's see how it all <laughs> takes to <laughs> takes how it all goes together and uh sweet mayhem's now busy chilling out in one side of her little castle build while we build almost a matching part for the other side and this goes together and this looks like well, it looks like we've got a long <laughs> road to go. We've got a lot of building to do. So let's just do that. So while we have this large amount of building that is very important, but doesn't actually look like anything yet, why don't you tell me in the comments if you've seen the Lego Movie 2 yet and what you thought, but no spoilers. No spoilers, because I haven't seen it yet. Is it as good as the first movie? very important. Oh, oh, we just built what looks like it might be a chair, but I don't know what it is. And this here is uh, a control panel or a little, looks like it should be sideways because that's the way the stick is going in. And it's monitoring the, that this is going to be the little prison cell in here that's designed to chuck Lucy in here when Sweet Mayhem captures her. I know this simply from the trailers, so I've got a bit of an idea of what's happening here, but not very much idea. And I don't know whether that chair is actually a chair or maybe like the little single toilet that you have when you're in a jail or a prison cell, because toilets are really, really, really important. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I suppose it's probably up to you to decide what you, the function that little chair has. Uh, quite quite literally what its function is. Mm. Okay, we've got all these little outward facing studs here because things are going to be stuck on around this cube that we're building. We've got ooh, some nice smooth pieces in here. This is a bit soon to be putting smooth pieces on because we haven't really made we haven't really made the shape yet to be able to smooth it over. And on the other side we've got we've got the oh, alright, we've got little angled out bits. Okay, it's looking cool, but it's still not looking like a spaceship yet. But there is so much going on here. We've got a transparent piece here with a sticker, which is like, maybe like an electricity field grid thing. And that sticker actually goes on quite nice and clearly. I'm very impressed that I didn't manage to get any fingerprints on that. So this is going to be, yep, in here in the little prison jail cell with the toilet slash chair. And that's going to hold them in. And we're up to bag number two. 
there is a lot of building to do, so let's keep going. Now this set comes with these little heart-shaped tiles, which is very, very exciting for me. <laughs> they're so cute, and they're just kind of hidden inside here. We will see them as we build on further. But they're so cool, little heart-shaped things. And we're putting all these little, uh, these, these uppy pieces with the tiny holes in which you often use for hair accessories to display them. Oh, they're used to angle these correctly and to hold them in the correct angle. Well, that's clever. I love building these sort of builds that I wouldn't normally build on the channel because you learn these new building techniques and new ways to use bricks and it's really interesting. And these are going to be some little patternings up here. Oh, if I put it on the right way around, it's quite important. I put it on the right way around or I'm going to come unstuck later on. Okay, some more smoothie ovary pieces and these have got little hooks. And these are going into our smooth area. This is it's currently at the top. These could be like lasers or kind of looks... Hmm, I have a theory. But we've got these rounded pieces here with a white stripe around the inside and I think it might be the cockpit for for Sweet Mayhem to go in but I can't quite figure out how she's supposed to sit whether I'm supposed to put her wings down or whether her wings are supposed to go up she can just kind of sit <laughs> I'm pretty sure she doesn't protrude out the top like that I'm pretty sure that's not how it's supposed to go so we will investigate that later after we've done some more building <laughs> we are definitely smoothing over here now and we've got the colours on this are awesome. Did you ever imagine that you would be building a spaceship that is in white and translucent pink and it's just awesome. It's, everything is awesome. And the blues, it's just, it's so good. Okay, let me see. This has got some hinges on it and I love the shape that this is taking. We've got a turny piece here, which goes in the middle. We've got these enormous big discs which go on the top and this is going... Oh, okay, so this is the opening panel for the side. Why does that disc keep falling off? I wonder if we're going to put anything on to actually hold that disc in. You'd think we'd have done that by now. Okay, all right, so this is the mirror image. No, not mirror image. Exactly identical to the... Oh, not on the inside. It's not identical. But very, 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 very similar to the one on the other side. Here's our discs again. I think we'll have to push them down. Yeah, I need to push them down. That's, that's what I was supposed to do. That way they're not going to fall off. And they close and open up to have these little panels on the side or little rooms on the side where you can stash your prisoners or all the stuff you want to take with you back out into space. Oh, and now we've got a little disc shooter. That's what that piece on the front is, unless it's being used for some other purpose, which we'll see soon enough. And this part here might be a chair. It goes over here on the smooth... Oh, no. okay, okay, so that's going to be the trigger for the disc shooter. And this here holds it in place. So look, see, so we're going to be pushing that forward and we will be able to ping the little the little disc bit out with that. That's cool. <gasps> Love all these teal pieces. This has got so many teal pieces. Oh, <laughs> it's such an epic spaceship. It's actually bigger than I'm expecting. That's a... Uh, this is cool. Okay, bag number three. Bag number three, there's a lot of good things happening here, but this is the bag where Sweet Mayhem actually comes and her two little buddies, little star here, with the happiest face! Here's star. I know that star is going to be getting up to a whole world of mischief because I can tell from the trailer. Oh, I can't wait to see the movie. So star here, which is also a new piece, that star shaped one, and this, this heart shaped plate, another one with a little heart face on it. <laughs> and these little quarter pie pieces to just round off the edge. Ah, oh, here's heart here. I would like a dozen of these. They're so cute. Okay, and we've got, these are the pellets. This one's got, <laughs> they've got these little surprised faces. So little stars are going to be shot out of here. Let's just make sure I've set it all up properly. So, oh, yep, good. All right, so she's got, <laughs> she's got some little stars she can shoot out there. And because this is the bag that Sweet Mayhem came out of and I actually stole her earlier on uh, so that we could meet her right back at the beginning of the build. But she has also got a couple of laser guns here. Two little matching ones. One for each hand. That's good, just in case she drops one. And she also has got some little jet boosters, like sparkly ones. Sparkly jet boosters so that she can fly up in the... Uh, put those on the wrong way around. Let's try this again. 
we put it around the other way, it's going to fit correctly into her feet, and then she'll be able to fly up into the air. Because she totally wasn't able to do that before, the way I put them on wrong. Okay, we have got her wings up and she can fly around now. And <laughs> she can't actually stand up anymore, so she can sit down. That looks really not very comfortable. So let's take those off again and we'll stand her over here while we continue building. Because there is quite a significant amount of stuff still to put on this sister starship. I just like saying that. Sister starship. Right. Okay, I might have had too much coffee before I started this. Okay, we've got little side bits on there, hmm. and we've got some wings, definitely some wings. And these stickers are so pretty, <laughs> they're in pink, <laughs> that's so awesome. And we have a matching one obviously on the other side. I cannot read this alphabet, I don't know what these say and it bugs me. If you know what it says on these stickers, then you can let me know in the comments because I would very much like to know. Okay, so these go on here, definitely the wings, and these go here. Are they like more? Oh no, they're like, they're little supports, little, is it landing gear? Kind of. On the top, we've got some smooth parts, and let's see, because this is obviously the way up that the spaceship's supposed to go. She goes in there, and those pink things are the joysticks. They're not actually lasers. That's cool. All right, we've got this Technic piece here, which is going to start, it's going to be our structure for the shape on the top, which obviously needs to be kind of all rounded over, because that's what shape we've been creating around the rest. It's looking so good. Okay, so rounding over, lots and lots of rounding over. And this big bar of teal pieces is also rounded over and smoothed off on the top. More of those awesome little quarter pie pieces. And this here goes on the... Oh, that's such a good shape. This is so fun. And this goes on the top and that'll actually be quite useful as a handle. But that looks so... That looks... That looks fantastic. And, oh my goodness, I don't think I've used these pieces like since doing the hot air balloon build. They rounded around so well. And that's such an easy way to round it. So they are clipping into all the little clips there that we'd already previously attached. And the roll of stickers, let's investigate this because this is so funny. It's got a whole heap of stickers, <laughs> which she can fire out. Oh, they do repeat. I wonder if the whole roll would be different. That would just be silly. Which she can fire out and use to stick, <laughs> stick her victims to the ground and make sure that she can catch them. They can't go anywhere. Now, because those stickers are just kind of floating free in there, I assume this is going to be the hatch that's going to hold them in, hold them in place. Let's see how this is all going to work. Oh, that's cool. It's going to be like the jet boostery things out the back. I know nothing about spaceships, so I'm just making up the details as I go along. But these little pieces here are going to have little pink dots on them. So is this like the booster? Is that what we call it? I'm going to call it a booster. I'm going to go with that. And that goes on the outside. It just does, does hold it on and we can unroll our roll of stickers from there. <laughs> so we've got a panel over here. Oh, hold on. Hang on. I put these heart shapes in the wrong way around. <laughs> okay, so if that one's the wrong way around, then this one is too. Okay, let's fix them up. That is so good. Let's put Wild Style in here just to check it out for size. Oh, she looks so cranky. And that looks as though... It needs, it's we're still not done yet though. We, I'm pretty concerned that Sweet Mayhem's gonna fall out the front. We've got some sort of a control panel thing here which has got a whole heap of planets in the solar system. And that goes over in this panel. It's actually detachable so you can take it on and off. It's cute and there's little studs in there which I don't know what goes on them. This, here we go, this is the front hatch. No, hold on, I need to put these the right way around. There we go, this is the front hatch. That's, that's great. And this over here, we could, maybe, can we put it on those studs in there? No. Over here, we've actually got a place where we can store her shooters. Over here, hiding behind, behind the little display panel. So it goes in front of them and they are safely stored behind it. And I reckon, even though it's not in the instructions, I think that over here we're supposed to put little heart and star. I think they hang out in here, but I'm just not... Oh, they're not fitting on properly. I'm just, <laughs> star's gonna fall out. Let's try again. That works now and that works now. There we go. 
All right. That's perfect. So they are snugly attached in there. Sweet Mayhem's in there. The stickers are ready. Our landing gear, so we can angle this if we want it to kind of angle backwards. Or we can put them flat down, or straight down if we want it. We can move these around. This is, this is a very nice little piece of Lego engineering. And it's gonna look amazing as a display piece. It's gonna be so much fun to play with too. So we've got Lucy in here. We're all ready to go. Emmett just looks horrified, but we're taking off with Lucy in here. <laughs> it's not a very smooth ride, but I, I'm pretty sure this is how spaceships actually go around in space. Now we've reached the end of the build, so it is time for you to subscribe and click that like button. In the comments, let me know what build you'd like to see next. I'm always interested in seeing what you want to see. And until the next video, I will see you then. Gosh, does any of that make sense? All right, bye.